what is the most dangerous thing on this Honda Goldwing? Good morning, YouTube. It's Saturday morning, and it is a beautiful day for riding. I just filled up with gas here in uh, Carrollton, and I have to make a ride over to Fort Worth. It takes about 40 minutes to get to where I'm going, so I thought, man, here's a perfect opportunity to reach out and talk to you guys. This is Cruise Man. Now I'm riding a 2018 Honda Goldwing today, but uh, what do you ride? Do you ride a Goldwing? Do you ride a Harley, a BMW, an Indian, a Can-Am, a Vespa? I don't think it really matters. On a day like today, it doesn't matter what you're riding as long as you're out riding. It is literally probably the nicest day I've seen in a long time. Almost no wind. Uh, it's about 80 degrees right now, maybe 82 degrees. I don't think it's going to get much more than maybe 85 or 87 today. And I'm heading to Fort Worth. Takes me about 40 minutes to get there. I want to welcome all of you to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. And uh, just let you ride along with me. Enjoy this beautiful ride over to Fort Worth. Well, it's beautiful as far as the weather. Other than that, it's just a bunch of flat, straight highways, freeways, and tollways. But the weather is nice. And you know, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're out riding, I guess that's all that really counts. In case you're wondering, I'm heading to Fort Worth because uh, my girlfriend, Ricky, uh, is taking care of her mother, who is 90 years old. I just lowered my face shield. Hopefully it'll help with some of the wind noise. And she has, uh, she goes over there uh, every two weeks, or well, I should say two weeks on, two weeks off. She takes care of her mom. And she has a haircut appointment today, or a hair styling appointment. They probably don't call it a haircut. But she has a hair appointment, and I am going to go over there and sit with her mom for a couple of hours while Ricky goes and gets her hair done. So the main thing I want to talk to you about today is what is the most dangerous thing on this Honda Goldwing? Now I'm talking about something that could really get you injured or worse. I'll bet I got five emails last week from people who watched uh, Max McAllister watched his video talking about this uh, steering head issue with the 2018 plus gold one and i'm not going to go into great detail uh, if you want you should watch max's video because he goes into uh, excruciating detail on this uh, service bulletin that honda has put out and how it what's all involved but basically what it boils down to is that on this new model Goldwing, if the steering head nut, I'm using that term, they probably call it something different, is torqued at the, at the incorrect torque, to, in other words, if it's over torqued, it can cause some threads to strip. And basically, if that were to happen, if you were to lose these threads on the steering head while you're riding the bike, you pretty much would lose control of the bike. Uh, and you'll see when you watch Max's video what he's referring to. Now, I've had a lot of people email me and they're concerned about this. I even had one friend uh, call me about it. 
and I think there is maybe a little bit of uh, unwarranted fear surrounding this. First of all, in the video, in the video that Max has, he shows an example of a customer of his who had his handlebars completely wobbling loose and they basically were, you know, you would have no control of the motorcycle if that happened. But, as it turns out, and I think Max might have indicated this in the video, if not, he did in the comments, this particular owner had had his motorcycle on a trailer and use the handlebars as a tie-down point for the trailer, which Honda specifically advises against. And so I am just guessing that what happened is when he tightened down those straps on the trailer, it somehow compressed these threads on the steering head, causing them to strip, and uh, therefore the handlebars are just completely wobbly. So, fortunately, that owner did not ride the motorcycle and had, was not riding the motorcycle when that happened. It happened when he got it off the trailer. Now, Honda does have a service bulletin that talks about this. They, the service bulletin actually came out a little over a year ago. And apparently, when the first bikes came out of the factory, they had these uh, nuts torqued to 70 foot-pounds, which is pretty damn stiff. I mean, the only other thing I can think of on the Goldwing that's torqued that high would be your rear lug nuts, which are 80 foot-pounds. But nevertheless, this nut is torqued to 70 foot-pounds, and I guess they have determined that that is way too that's way over torqued and now uh, they're advising if anybody has these issues and the issues are determined by whether or not when you grab your handlebars if you can lift them straight up and down if you if you if there's any play in the handlebars vertically that would be an indication that you need to take your bike to your honda dealer where honda or your dealer will service this and I'm pretty sure it's a warranty issue. Now, it's not a recall. Honda has not recalled all of the Goldwings with this issue. And I suspect that if it were a really, really serious safety problem, Honda would have issued a recall on it. If there were any instances of a rider losing control of their motorcycle and suffering injury or worse because of this you can bet Honda would have issued a recall just from the legal ramifications because it's really not that hard of a fix but if there is no play in your handlebars vertically, apparently there's no reason to really deal with it. You just continue to ride your motorcycle and be done with it. But that's not what I consider to be the most dangerous thing on the Honda Goldwing. There are two other issues with this motorcycle that I consider to be far more dangerous. The first one I talked about in one of my recent videos, and that is the location of the horn button. I can't tell you how many times somebody has tried to come over into my lane, and I've instinctively reached for that horn button, and I end up hitting the turn signal button instead. So, in my opinion, Honda needs to redesign this left-hand control unit and put that horn button down lower or make it larger or make it easier to distinguish with gloves on. Now, I got an email yesterday from Nick who showed me his fix for this. And Nick, I gotta tell you, you're not the first I've seen do this. And basically, it's a simple fix. 
it is taking a silicone bumper like you could buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or Walmart the kind you use on drawers and cabinet doors to keep them from slamming shut and you basically just stick one of those little clear silicone bumpers on your horn button and the idea is it makes it much easier for you to find with your glove it sticks out it's a little more prominent and that's that's a life hack but I wouldn't call that a long-term solution I really do think Honda should address this horn button on the 2018 to 2021 Goldwing the other thing that I think is a safety issue is the fact that we have to take our eyes off the road and our hands off the handlebars in some cases to adjust the radio or to execute commands on the navigation system in my opinion by now the entire audio navigation system should be voice command driven. We all have Bluetooth headsets now. The technology exists for voice commands with Hey Google or OK Google or OK Goldwing or whatever you want to call it. And I think you should be able to execute just about any command using your voice without having to take your hands off the handlebars without having to take your eyes off the road and look at the menu the technology exists and you know even my Garmin XT does not have voice commands and I was surprised to learn from some of you that you have Garmin GPS's in your cars that do have voice command capability so I'm really kind of stunned. I didn't even know Garmin had that technology. I'm kind of stunned that they wouldn't put that in their GPS on the motorcycle. It just makes sense to me that you would have voice command capability. So those are my two safety items. I wouldn't worry too much about the steering head issue unless you're, you've noticed some play in your steering and your handlebars. But the horn button is something around Dallas-Fort Worth, I use it almost every day because people here drive like idiots. I'm sure the people where you live drive wonderfully. So that's my safety update for today on this beautiful Saturday morning at 81 degrees in Dallas-Fort Worth. And I want to make a quick reminder, those of you, if you haven't done so already, make sure to check out our Facebook groups. I have one for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing and another one for the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing. And that's where we discuss all of these types of issues like steering head issues and horn buttons. and That's the place to talk about it. And if you join our Facebook group, it doesn't cost anything. And when you get there, scroll down the page and you'll find we have a really special deal right now on my Honda Goldwing maintenance video series for the 2001 to 2020 Honda Goldwing. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate you uh, sitting in on, the, on my ride. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the little like, the thumbs up if you like the video. And put your comments down below. Thanks again for joining me today. And I'll see you at the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.